Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I apologize because um, I brought this clicker, but I had to rehearse it. Like, even if I'm not in charge, but if it is fixed, it then you, you don't have to do it like this, right? So that if there is a presentation later, then I will evolve more deeper to pick this one. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not, I can't use it now. So I'm going to start my presentation. Uh, my name is Ji Hong. This is in Korean. This is in Chinese. And this is the, how it means probably some of Korean, many of Koreans here understand. And this is my about like a manifesto. It means like integrity. This is knowledge and wisdom, and it's just like large for the world. So I mean, I, this is my manifesto. I will learn and practice. I will devote myself to the welfare of the mankind. I mean, that's what I want to do. I also want to influence like not only for government policy. I want to influence this whole world, like like she said. <laughs> Yeah, this is, already, <laughs> this is already in front of my room. I mean, there's a, lots of books and laptop, and you will see what it is. This is a little, small, very tiny idea, but it changed my life, actually. It no, it changed my life. It changed my life. It will change my life, too. Because this is a little, small idea, but you see, it can hold a laptop. And this is a wire hanger book stand. Called, I call it book stand up. Because if people read lots of books, you know, they can stand up their own feet. I mean, that's just always put meaning. So this is, you can, if you go to YouTube tonight, if you find wire hanger books, then it's on the top. Because so far, 100,000 people watched it, and they make their own version. And they send mails, and this is how it works. Yeah. See? Very neat. It's simple. You put your book like this. Yeah. He gave me he gave me so many chances. Yeah. I did lots of workshops like he did with the children, makers workshop. Because you know children can learn about the sustainability recycle and also, you know, I'm the person if someone orders me, I always say no. But if someone's asked me that we do more than he expected or she expected, you know, you know, you kinda of nuts things. So I did lots of workshops. And I did workshop in London Design Festival 2010, but I was not invited. I just came here with all this stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and I found Neil Brody. He is anti-design so I went so and asked him. I'm the I said I'm a recycling artist from Korea. You know, the artist artist there's no um, certificate to be an artist. So I said recycling artist. And can I do some exhibition in your the venue? I mean, is is the venue about the anti-design festival, but Neville Brody like, didn't take it seriously. He said, oh, okay, good, okay, you can bring it. But when I get there, there was no, Neville Brody was not there. So I told the manager, oh, Neville Brody allowed me to do this here. So I did that one day workshop, and I collect the money from all participants, and I <laughs> donate the money to the anti-design festival. That's how I get involved in like, deeper. And this is another project that so far I'm doing. This is a yellow card project. This is reflector. Like British people are probably much more familiar with this product because in Korea, vi uh, visibility issue is very low. I mean, they don't mention about the why visibility is important, like be seen, be safe. It's a thing. It's not. I mean, not that in common because I had a kid at a hit and run accident like seven years ago. I was hospitalized for two months. My bones are broke. I had an implant here. I'm quite interested in so NHS service. <laughs> <laughs> and I had surgery here too because of my ligaments was replaced. <laughs> and so I was trying to um, changing children's behavior and also for the, the, all the stakeholders around the, the traffic area. So it's like a kind of warning sign for the bad driver. You have you better drive be drive carefully. You know. People think children can be protect, must be protected, but I want to change it. They are the uh, ruler. I mean, they they take away, I mean, they take charge. So be safe. Speed limits. <laughs> so and also, so I want to um, give like users for better experience. I did some little bit about like kind of artistic project. I put I wear the referee's clothes with my friend. I put this four and I changed this road as a like soccer field. So in blue light, I do like this, so let people walk, and in the red light, if, if someone, if some car cross like, their line, then my friend goes and 
blow whistle and blow this one. But no one like was angry about it. Everyone was happy because it's like something like put soccer and transportation together. I think it is something about trade too. And I finished my military service. I served um, in the Korean army, but I was dispatched to the United States Army. So I worked two years and I learned about what is leadership as what is, um, yeah, I mean, I, I was a decontamination soldier. <laughs> and this is what I have done, have been done for 13 years. I was the liberal boy, the right before they came here, I delivered a pizza also. My family, my father used to work in construction company, but 1998, there was a recession in Korea. After he got up from the job, he couldn't get in that field again. So we, my family, decided to open our mom and pop small pizzeria shop. So we made our own brand. And we, in, in the beginning, we were very struggling, but now we are running the business for 13 years and we have like two more, three more franchisees now. We don't make that much profit, but it's kind of sustainable now. So we have lots of customers. And I've been on Antarctica. This is like the experience that I have done last year. This is a um, British explorer, Robert Swan. He's the person who went to North Pole and South Pole without any support. It, he said he's the first person, and he's an OBE on the border of the British Empire. And this is my colleague. You will see this, all the person has a... <laughs> <laughs> and like, there will be alumni meeting. This, this event has been done like 10 years. So all the alumni are spread in the world. That will be my support group. I also support them. And I like to give a lecture. I made like this talk in front of the public. I speak a little better than Korean. <laughs> 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 and this is uh, the video that I covered before I got here. You will see Royal College about RCA here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Korean news, I mean an English newspaper. And Probably at this moment, probably you are um, curious about what is in my brain. This is my actual picture of my X-ray. <laughs> I call it, this is my first brain, and this is my second brain. Second brain is this note. This is my 30, 33 volume, 30, 30, 30 volume. I have like this much notes, because I have, to, I have short working memory. I have to write down everything. Even I put my note in my bed. Because in, in the morning or before I go to bed, if I have something that idea, I have to write down. Then I can't go to bed. I'm kind of obsessive about like writing or thinking about the ideas. So this is how relation between I, my first brain, and second brain, how it will be connected. <laughs> <laughs> and my dream is like I always think that like kind of visually. I found out. I don't know. So like if there's a problem, I want to put it in my in, inside of myself. And I want to make it and want to hand it to someone else. Yeah, this is uh, probably Dr. Nick Leon probably didn't know. When I apply this school college, you know this college tuition fee is like higher than any other school. But <laughs> I had no money, frankly speaking. My, you know, but the, to, to get an offer, it costs only like two, if I have like 30, uh, 3,000 pounds that I can get offered, you know, round trip and taking a course and submitted the application. After I got an offer, I start fundraising. These, these are my kind of blueprint and roadmap and how, how to get in this school. So I thinking about having like 10 um, donors who can support myself. So I sent proposals to like, I think more than 100 corporate and individual. So I mean, this is a, I didn't draw it. I don't have ability to write like this. My friends made this one. And so, so far I made, I fundraised for four, four months, uh, 30, more than 30,000 pounds. My mom didn't, my mom does not even know how much it costs to come here. I didn't tell my mom. Because my, my basic condition was, if, if I need to get support from my parents, actually I was going to give up. But I made it actually. Wow. Yeah. And, this was a young boy's dream, actually. It was 18 years ago, I was in London by myself. I took a plane from Korea. I was 12, without guardian. 
I came here last time. <laughs> I was here for days. And after I get back, I told my mom, I was like, I, I need to go back. But my parents couldn't support it. He was a construction worker. So, yeah. So it took for 18 years to come here by myself, but I'm so glad. I mean, I'm so lucky guy, you know? I've been a turnpike. Even there's no money in my bank account, but <laughs> I'm so happy because I 